Hi, my name is Karen Verderami. I'm Animal Programs Developer here at the Academy of Natural Sciences of Drexel University. And welcome to 2020's Turtle Thunderdome for our Totally Turtles weekend. We hope you enjoy. I have two contenders with us today, including our, that are our wood turtles. So our wood turtle here is our a Honduran wood turtle. Uh, the Honduran wood turtle is from South America, found throughout Nicaragua, as well as Costa Rica. And you can see it has a bit of a domed shell and beautiful orange markings on the front legs here. And then we have our other wood turtle here, Sycamore, who's found right here in Pennsylvania, as well as up through Maine and Nova Scotia. And they get the name wood turtle because of the shape of that the patterns on the scoots of their shell are similar to that of the rings of a tree. Unlike the rings of a tree though, the rings of a turtle shell may not really determine our, their age. And our two contenders here are well-seasoned contenders. The Honduran box turtle here, Madeira, is about six years old. She was an unwanted pet that came here to the academy to be in one of our animal ambassadors for education. Uh, so we know she's at least six years old. And then we have our wood turtle who was wild caught in 94. So we know she's at least over 26 years old and wood turtles in this area can live up to 60 years. So I think it's ready. Should we unleash the snacks? I think we're ready for some snacks and see who can get the most snacks. All right. Turtle Thunderdome 2020 is about to commence. And here's some of the snacks that's being unleashed. We have some tasty crickets. Ooh, and right off the bat, the wood turtle that is local is on the move. Let's see if she can do it with the speed of a turtle. She's got a bit of a sneak attack. Oh, she missed. It was nearly there. Using that very nice beak there that turtles have. Oh, and she's got one. Oh, and now Honduran turtle Madeira is on the hunt. We got two for the wood turtle Sycamore. And we have one for the Honduran wood turtle Madeira. Oh, she's going in. And, oh, she poked it with her beak, but no luck. And I think, oh. Yeah, there we go. Sycamore just got one. And so did Bendir. She's got a little something on her face there. You want to get that? Uh, she's like, nah, I'll leave that leg for later. Oh, and we got some munchy sounds. Oh, that was a very slow poor attack by <laughs> Madeira. Oh, and she got another one. And now we got Sycamore on the hunt. And she's going. And you can see turtles can move fast when they want to, when they're looking at their food. They can put on a little bit of a spurt, like, oh, like we just saw that go. Uh, oh, here she goes. She's going to go. And there we go. She's got it. So they can put on a little bit of speed if they need to. And if a predator was to come and try to have them as a snack, they would do what turtles do best, which is to retreat into their shell, which is nice, hard protection. Ooh. Oh, oh, that, that cricket got the jump on her. She went right on its back. And we're going to get, let's see, oh, she missed. The crickets are just as fast and good jumpers, which turtles are not good jumpers at all. Let's see, I lost count of who has it right now. I think Sycamore is in the lead. She's got a little bit more speed. Her shell is a little bit more aerodynamic, a little flatter, because she spends more time in the water than the Honduran box turtle, or excuse me, the Honduran wood turtle. The Honduran wood turtle's shape is more like a box turtle because they are more land. But wood turtles do always tend to live near ponds and streams uh, and are considered to be a bit in between box turtle and other pond turtles uh, since they do spend a lot more time on the land than some of their cousins, pond turtles, who spend most of their time in the water. Oh, and they're both enjoying a tasty treat right now. And I love that sound that Sycamore makes when she eats. It sounds like a little bit of like a frog. She's like, nom, nom, nom. Oh, and now they're going after the same cricket. Who will get it? Oh, you can see Sycamore is a little bigger than Madeira, the Honduran wood turtle. So the Honduran wood turtle just kind of got out of the way. It's like, go ahead. You can have it. And now they are looking for more. I think we should, I don't know, should we help the Honduran out a little? See if she... All the crickets have come to this side and 
They're actually finding a little bit of an escape route there. I just freedom. <laughs> Thank you, my camera guy got it. Yay! <laughs> oh, and, and now Sycamore has a little cricket left on her, and she sees that movement, so she's on the hunt now. I think she's really enjoying her tasty crickety treats here. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, here we go. We got the hunt. Doran is back on the hunt now. Oh, she missed. Can she get it this time? Oh, she missed again. I don't know if she can get it. Oh, and now with all the crickets running from Sycamore, the wood turtle, the Honduran wood turtle's taking advantage of finding a cricket leg that was left behind and snacking on that. But she is interested in the movement that the that Sycamore, the other wood turtle, is starting to cause. Oh, she found a cricket hiding on the side. Oh, and she got it. Oh, and she lost it. She got a leg. She's going to finish that leg up before she finds the rest of the cricket. You can do it. Yay. In addition to crickets, wood turtles are great at luring out worms. In nature, they will actually tap the ground to mimic the sound of rain falling to trick the worms into coming out. And as they emerge from underground, the turtle will slurp them up. They also will eat a variety of plants and vegetables. Here at the Academy, not only do we give them crickets as a treat, but we will also give them salad, a variety of greens, apples, mango, zucchini, all different vegetables and fruits as part of their diet as well. But today they're going to enjoy some crickets in addition to their salads. Oh, I think that's crickets just out of reach for the Honduran wood turtle. Madeira, you can do it. You can do it. Oh, she, she just missed it. Meanwhile, Sycamore is racking up a few more. <laughs> She's got some legs hanging out. Here she goes to go for another one. Ah, there we go. Madeira got one. She's a little slower again because her shell's more domed. Uh, so she's not quite with the speed as our native wood turtle here, Sycamore. Oh, that one just got her. Just got all the way there. Oh, but she got another one. And I think she'll clean up that leg. Oh, maybe not. She's going to go for a whole other cricket. So I don't know. I think we have a clear winner in this year's Turtle Thunderdome. I think our native wood turtle, Sycamore, who is also the older turtle, well into her 20s, possibly even into her 30s, has just been racking up the crickets. Although now... Madeira is on the side with most of the crickets because they all ran back this way since uh, Speedy Sycamore there chased them all around this way. Oh, she sees it now. She's got a little something. She's got some bug juice hanging out on her beak there. The front of a turtle's mouth is called a beak similar to that of a bird. Oh, Madeira just missed it, but oh, there we go. I think Sycamore's really got that slow, slow, fast approach. And now Madeira's got some bug juice on her. She's got, I think, a bit of a, a head sticking out there with some antenna. I'm sure she'll slurp that up later. Oh, it's a good shot. Almost. Hey, oh no. And it got away. I think the cricket deserves points there. Eluded Sycamore's best attempts three times in a row. Oh, they're starting to slow down. It might be getting a little full. <laughs> you still have the bug juice there. I don't know if we can see this. I'm going to pause the games for a little bit. She's got a little bit of her bug juice there, which she'll be sure to clean up when she's <laughs> finished. They will groom themselves, not quite as well as a cat, but they'll use their front arms to brush food off their faces and munch it up. And another thing with these guys being what we call turtles, they're actually more truly terrapins. And that is because they walk plantigrade, which means they feet, if you watch as they move, are flat on the ground to help them move. Whereas tortoises walk tippy toe. So they walk digital uh, or elephantine where they're more on their toes. And then turtles, the term turtle, is usually referred to the group that actually has flippers and spend most of their time in water, just like sea turtles. But it's become the, ter the 
term used widely for the whole group of Chelonia, which are turtles, tortoises, and terrapins. Uh, so these guys, we should be calling them wood terrapins more truly because of the way they walk with their feet. But you're not wrong with turtle. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this year's Turtle Thunderdome. Uh, these guys did a great job hunting down their tasty treats of crickets. I think they are going to have a good full belly day. And please continue to look out on our website, ansp.org, for more Totally Turtles weekend crafts, activities, and presentations for more members of our animal ambassadors from the turtle family. I'm here with our winner of Turtle Thunderdome 2020, Sycamore the Wood Turtle, which is our native species of wood turtle. Uh, Sycamore, do you know that you have some bug juice on your face? Are you going to save that for later? How does it feel to be the faster of the turtles out of the wood turtles and have all those crickets? She is a turtle of very few words, perhaps just too busy chewing on her delicious treats. <laughs> well, thank you and congratulations on scoring so many crickets and uh, I hope you enjoy your leftovers. <laughs>